Hello everyone, this is Tech Me Out here and I first like to apologize to all of you that have been waiting so patiently for another top 10 tweak video or for a tweak video period. I just want to thank you all for your patience and for bearing with me because today I do have another top 10 tweaks video for you all to enjoy. So let's go ahead and get things rolling. I hope you have your eye devices ready because hopefully you'll be downloading quite a few today. And first up, we have Gravy Board. Now what Gravity Board does is it allows your icons to kind of flow with the motion of your hand. And by that, let me go ahead and demonstrate. You have an activation method you use, and in my case, it is pressing the home button one time. And as you can see, my icons then begin to fall. But as you can see, as I'm moving my phone, it kind of gives it this water effect that the icons are like falling but it goes with the motion of your hand and I just thought that was really cool it's not necessarily a useful tweak but it is a rather cool tweak when you want to kind of impress your friends and if you also take a look here you'll also notice that the icons are still accessible so for instance if I want to go to my compass I can still go to the compass Coming in at number two, we have a media speak. And what it allows you to do is basically have an announcement of the current song that is playing. And what I really like about it is it not only works with your music player, but it also works with third party applications such as Pandora. So I'm gonna demonstrate it real quick here. Now playing I belong to you. Every time I see your face by Rome. Now playing Crew Love by Drake. So now playing White Feet, John Mayer by Frank Ocean. But I really like it because sometimes I'm not around my device when I'm listening to music and I find it very handy that it will then announce what's playing instead of me having to physically go back in case I don't pick up on the song within the first couple of seconds of his playing. Coming in at number three, we have Icon Bounce. And now with Icon Bounce, it's a very simple tweak. All it does is animate your icons in your dock. It doesn't animate the icons on your springboard, but it will allow the icons located in your dock to pretty much just jump about spin around and it's done at random there are no settings to configure or there's no option to turn the tweak on or off once you install it it just automatically starts running coming in next we have useful things now what this does is it provides you a number of tweaks in one central area so it's kind of like spring to mind too if you're familiar with it but not quite that extensive but as you can see here, I'm not going to go through everything you can do, but you have a few options such as disabling the labels, uh, turning the reflection on and off, or even hiding the newsstand. And you can even change your slider text as well as adjust the color of your screenshot flash and prompt it to display a message when you're finished. So I'm going to demonstrate that really quick right now. And as you should have noticed, the screenshot was a different color. And I also got this pop up of a message, which you can customize actually from right within here. You can also edit the HUD volume toggle and quite a few other things can be found within this one particular application. It also gives you a few additional tweaks with this tweak that you download. They can all be found right within here at the bottom of your options and settings. Next, we have app switcher status bar. This particular tweak will pretty much move your status bar that you see located up here down into your multitask bar. Now, normally when this tweak is not installed, you do not have the status bar down here at the bottom. And yes, it is a small adjustment, but for those of you that may still wanna access your time or if you even have the weather app installed where you can see your weather in your status bar, if you want to be able to do that as well, then you can just run this tweak and you'll have your status bar displayed with your multitask bar. Now, speaking of the weather, because there might be a few of you that are wondering how in the world did I get my weather to display in my status bar? And that was achieved with weather icon. You can disable or enable the tweak. You have a couple of other settings here uh, that allows you to change the refresh interval and things such as that. And you have a few additional options down here. But 
I pretty much liked Weather Icon because it gave me the weather in my status bar. And I always like to know what is the temperature outside, whether the, what are the conditions, because I'm good for walking outside on a cold day in short sleeves or on a hot day with long sleeves. I, I can be backwards sometimes. So this is very handy for me. And so for those of you that are curious about the weather, uh, the temperature, how I got that in my status bar was done with Weather Icon. Now, this next one is one of my personal favorites, and that's because it allows you to customize the banner notification right here. As you can see, my banner notification is different, and I like the way it looks more than that notification that you typically get with the standard iOS. Now, with many banners pro, you have quite a few options to change the customization for this tweak now for a more in-depth review i have done a video on this tweak and you can find that down below in the description box amongst other reviews that i've done as well that you may find useful but i really like it because it allows you to change the animation that the banner appears with as well as the position of the banner in addition to that you have quite a few more options that i'll let you explore on your own but just taking another look at it again, as you can see, it kind of animated in that way. I really like Mini Banners Pro and do recommend that for you to download. Now, another tweak that many of you may enjoy is Zeppelin. I get questions about how did you get such and such icon over here in your status bar where your carrier name is? And that is achieved with Zeppelin. Now, Zeppelin also has some settings as well. well it's not really that many settings, actually, just the option to turn it on and off as well as adjust the theme. You can download tons and tons tons and tons of themes from Cydia for Zeppelin and you have an array of different icons that you can put there. Another cool thing about Zeppelin is that when you change your icons you do not have to respring your device. So when you change it like for instance I'm gonna change mine right now as you can see I'm just alternating through different ones and the icon in my status bar is automatically changing. So that's pretty cool. I think I might leave it on Nintendo. I am a Nintendo fan. Now up next, we have a tweak that I think just looks absolutely cool, honestly, because it gives you this rippled effect on your springboard. And not only does it give it to you on your springboard, but if you journey to your lock screen, you also get the rippled effect up there as well. And I just think it looks really good. It looks very realistic. And this one is called Aqua Board. So you do have a few settings to configure. It's pretty much activated per touch on your screen. And as you can see, wherever I touch on my screen, that ripple effect becomes even more prominent. So jumping into settings, you can see here that we have the option to enable it or disable it, as well as where it will appear if you just want it on your lock screen or your home screen or in the battery charging view. And in this section here, you can adjust the speed. The themes are pretty much the impact of the ripple effect. So if you change it from turbulence, which is the one that I honestly prefer to something such as heavy taps. Then when I jump back onto the home screen, you can see the ripple effect is even more prominent. And that's something else that I like about this tweak because you do not have to respring in order for these changes to take effect. You also have a few other options down here at the bottom, but overall that is aqua board. Up next we have side delete. And what this allows you to do is delete Cydia applications that are on your springboard as you would any other application from uh, the App Store. As you can see, ProTube, that is a Cydia tweak. And I can just pretty much hit the X right here on it and delete it. But I'm not going to delete it because I do still want to keep ProTube up here. But that is what it allows you to do. It allows you to delete Cydia applications from your springboard as you would any App Store application. But that does sum everything up. If you enjoyed this video or simply want to show your support, please do so by pressing that thumbs up button as well as subscribing to my page. If you have any questions or comments, drop them down below or feel free to hit me up on Twitter, like my Facebook page, and even check out my random pictures of the day on Instagram, all at Tech Me Out. That's T-E-C-H-M-E-0-U-T. And as always, thanks for taking the time out to let me tech you out.